beautiful. How fierce you must have been. <laughs> that fur. You never even felt the cold, did you? Ursus Americanus. The magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Ursus Americanus. The magnificent American black bear. Care to talk about these figurines of yours? They're not really mine, but I've always got time to talk about them. It's not built like a predator, but perhaps it needed those horns to take down its prey in the absence of sharp fangs. Otocolius virginianus, the majestic mule deer. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. He said it's grizzled, old. Its hunting days are behind it. Ursus Arctos, the menacing grizzly bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Visitor centers a bust. I'm recording the strategic and operational value at roughly 0 point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a vert, send them back to Nowheresville as soon as the gates are locked. Enjoy basic income, ding-dongs. This coat is sand-colored. Could it have been a burrowing animal? Perhaps those teeth were only used for digging. Puma Concalor. The fearsome cougar. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. So these totems, the images they show are of animals that no longer exist. They're gone, like the old ones. Uh, so it seems. <laughs> to think such magnificent creatures are lost to us, that we never even knew they were here. We rely as much on beasts as we do on machines. For food, for warmth, but do we study them with the same fervor? Yeah, I do. For example, I have this theory about foxes. Why do foxes have red fur? <laughs> Think about what they eat. Meat? Raw meat. Bloody meat. See? Natural causation. Logical connections. It only makes sense. You've thought a lot more about foxes than I have. Could it be that these wolves and our foxes are the same somehow? Perhaps after hundreds of winters... No. No, that's ridiculous. Canis Lupus. The enigmatic gray wolf. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. The horns grow like trees. Of course, this moose used those bizarre growths to blend in with its forest home. Huh. Alsus, Alsus. The noble moose. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. That's all I need to know. Are you sure? You can never learn too much. <laughs>